Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another K-pop reading. This time it's on Blackpink, because they're in your area. So, Blackpink is having a comeback. Super excited. I'm a big fan. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a ring on them. I'm going to pull a card for each girl. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the overarching theme of, like, their group. And then we're going to pull a card for each girl. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, these rings are all different chambers only. If you like K-pop readings, I did do one on BTS not too long ago. I'll put a link up to it over here. Okay. Okay, so first card is going to be the girls as a as a group. And then we will do... Um, why don't we do Jenny... We'll do Jenny, Jisoo, Rose, Lisa. Why don't we do that? Okay, so the girls as a group. Jenny, Jisoo, Rose, Lisa. Uh oh. Lisa, there's an issue. Okay. So, as a group, the Five of Swords is reversed. What the hell is going on? <laughs> there are details missing, plans missing, scheduling issues. This seems rushed. I don't know. So I haven't been paying super close attention. Okay, I have not. So forgive me. Y'all going to have to help me in the comments, girl. But what I can tell you is with the Five of Swords, I'm not sure this was supposed to happen. This seems like the plans were changed the last minute. So I don't know if the song was changed the last minute. The plans were changed the last minute. Maybe this comeback wasn't supposed to be now. Maybe something else was supposed to happen before. Maybe someone's um, solo or something. Something's wrong. The Five of Swords. Like there's a ton of issues. I see issues with scheduling. I see issues with the tour. Like maybe there might be canceled dates or something. There's just something wrong with the planning of this entire thing from start to finish. Um, everything is chaos right now. So for me, I definitely think that yeah, there's just like, there's a lot of issues with all the little details. I think maybe they were trying to secure a feature or trying to secure something that fell apart. Or maybe they were supposed to be a part of a different project and it fell apart. Some, there's an, some, what I'm hearing is like, there's an issue, let's throw Blackpink in front. Oh, maybe there's an issue with YG. And they're like, let's just distract them with, with Blackpink. It's, I, it's like Blackpink's being used for something. Or maybe the song was meant for a different artist. There's just something, there's an issue. I, Blackpink is like their trump card. It's like, oh, let's bring out Blackpink. It's weird. I don't understand it. Okay, we'll get into that. Um, Jenny showed up as the four of wands, which is about comfort and safety and security. Um, I see her being in a really humble place. That's pretty good. And I know she's had some issues I've seen previously with like, you know, um, her place in the group um and whether she, you know because she got the first solo and stuff like that but no i see her as comfortable um to be honest with you um i don't I mean, jenny fans don't come for me but i think she might be a little bit homesick like that's what i'm seeing maybe she'll get homesick from touring i don't know i'm just i'm feeling like she wants like has she talked about wanting a family or a relationship or something i see her like kind of wanting comfort I'm wondering if she's just fucking exhausted. Like, there's a part of her that wants familiarity. There's a part of her that she just, like, wants simplicity. Family, husband, or just, like, just comfort. Or maybe just, like, I don't know. I think she's kind of over it right now. That doesn't mean that she's not going to do anything. I just genuinely think that she's kind of just over it. And she's just, like, I love this, but... I miss comfort. I miss like my home. And I think she's kind of scared to go into America and other like countries and stuff. I think she's hesitant. I think she is a little bit in denial about Blackpink's fame and reach too. I think that there's a part of it's like, are people even going to know who we are? I think that she struggles with that. Um, 
I think you might get vlogs or something from her soon, though. I just see like a more personal side to her coming out, more intimate side, more humble, sort of like homemaker type of thing, like vlogger. All right. The King of Swords. So the King of Swords is Jisoo. Um, she's really hungry. Jisoo is really hungry. With the King of Swords, it tells me she's hungry for something. Super ambitious. Um, very ambitious. I definitely think she's in a position now where she's ready to push people out the way to get what she wants. Um, I think she's about to take off. Um, I think that someone is favoring her for something. The King of Swords to me makes me feel like someone, it could be an air sign, but it just makes me think someone is favoring her for something. Um, there's an opportunity, uh, here. I don't know if it's a solo or not, but there's something here that she's favored for. Um, I would say keep an eye on Jisoo. Um, I think they're going to give her more lines and stuff soon because I think she's going to be pushed for something. I wonder if she's going to be the face for a campaign or for maybe like a project or a movie or something. I just see her as like really important. I see her on like a bill, make it like a billboard or something. I don't know. I just see her being favored for something. It might be in Korea though. I'm not sure. Um, but they're gearing up for a big release for something for her. I don't know what it is. Someone is obsessed with her. I just see her as like on like a, there's a brand. Like I see her like on a billboard, like, and it's like her face and it's like, there's something like, like her hair or something. It's like, I don't know. I just see it. And I'm like, they're upset. There's somebody obsessed with her. There's a specific company that's obsessed with her and it's huge for her. And I actually think she's going to be massive if she leans into that. So it's just kind of interesting. Um, cause I know Jisoo sometimes is a little bit more of like, um, subtle in the group, but she's going to take off. Um, now Rose, eight of pentacles, she's working on something. I wonder if she's working on her solo album or something. So, Rose, hardworking, Eight of Pentacles, super hard worker. I'm, and I'm, I'm not trying to cause any problems between the stands. Do not come for me, Blinks, okay? Don't come for me. I do think she's the hardest worker of them all. Um, I think she has the most skill set. Um, I see her trying really, 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 really hard, though. Like, I think she's going to try extremely hard this era to prove herself. I think she's going to be on her A game. Um, I think she's going to take a leadership position. I think she's going to rally the troops. Um, I see her as a workhorse coming up here soon. I see project after project. I see her really trying to showcase her multi multiple talents. Um She's going to go far just simply off the fact that she's the hardest worker. Um, she's going to be rewarded, but it's going to take some time. Now, Lisa, something's going on with Lisa. Something is going on with Lisa. There's drama around Lisa. The devil card is reversed, which makes me think of spreading negativity. If it's reversed, it's about her. I think we're going to start to see a lot of crap and shit talk and drama surrounding Lisa. Um, if I'm being honest with you, it feels to me like a marketing campaign, a controversial marketing campaign. So ha does she have plans to enter America because, and like the American scene? Because to me, the devil when it's reversed makes me think of, you know how American Americans are all about controversy? It's like, let's see if we can get her to be a little bit more controversial to break into the mainstream of, of America. And, or maybe that, like, I just see like a marketing strategy with making her be controversial. Um, she, I definitely think she's going to do something controversial, say something controversial, wear something controversial. It reminds me of like Miley Cyrus or like, I don't know, it just it's giving me like remember when Lady Gaga was being controversial all the time? Like, that's what it reminds me of. It's like, we got to be controversial with the things that we do, the things that we wear, the things that we say. Like, I, but I will say, I see her, she's very rebellious, but I definitely see her How do I word this without getting the stands angry? She's willing to do whatever it takes to get what she wants. Um, and she's ready. She's the type of girl that's going to say yes to everything. She's not saying no to anything. I see her as being spontaneous, rebellious, saying yes to everything. Um, we're going to be hearing a lot about, about Lisa. You, you know, you, you know how they tried to like make CL like a solo rapper or whatever. And they like struggled. Yeah. Lisa is going to kind of pick up where that left off and, uh, I just, I don't know if the world is ready for Lisa right now. 
I think she's going to shock and surprise a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of drama surrounding her. I'm telling you. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if it's people that she dates or is seen with or it wants people to think she's dating or, like, anything like that. Like, there is... This girl's ready. I- I'm going to be honest with you. This is messy. <laughs> okay, let's keep pulling. See what we see. These girls are not allowed to say what they want to say, which we're not shocked about. Um, but one of them is going to talk for the group. <laughs> I wonder if it'll end up being Lisa. I don't know. One of them is going to talk for the group. You're going to be here and shit eventually. The Seven of Pentacles is reversed. <clears throat> the Three of Wands. One of them is going to speak for all of them. Okay. They took someone's solo songs. There's talk of taking someone's projects or solo songs and putting them on the album. What? I wonder if it's like maybe like Rose. Maybe Rose will have writing credits. I don't know. There's just something going on with projects being ripped from one and given to another. And I don't know where that's coming from. What's going on? This is so weird. It's like a Frankenstein album. It's like taking pieces, or maybe other people's stuff, and then giving away things too. Someone's stuff was given away. Six of Wands, Seven of Swords, Reverse, and the Ten of Swords. Six of Wands would be ego, failure, backstabbing. Someone's project was given to someone else. I don't know what that means. Someone's project was given to someone else. It gets right there. They screwed one of them over or are going to screw one of them over. Someone's project was handed to someone else. What the hell? Maybe shelved, but I feel like it's getting handed to someone else. There's a gr- Ten of Cups, Chariot, Page of Cups reverse. There's a collaboration. There's a, there's a collaboration. One of them wanted to do a collaboration with someone else and they were kind of secretive about it. Someone caught wind of it and didn't like it. Ten of Cups, Chariot, Page of Cups. You're not supposed to work with that person. And you were you know you're not supposed to work with that person. I wonder who it was. It could be another k-pop girl i don't know um ten of pentacles reversed nine of swords lovers reversed huh i think the camera just fucked up that was weird um huh the ten of pentacles issue with money long-term success Nine of Swords of Brighton Lover's card. Well, I definitely see YG is thinking like uh, like they're aging out for sure. Um, and they feel like, are they going to make all this money for much longer? Or are they going to be um, replaced by something younger? I mean, that's kind of the K-pop cycle. So that's not really that interesting. Like, oh, they're thinking of making a younger version. Yeah, no shit. They always do that. Um, but... The Queen of Wands wants out of the group. Two of Swords, Reverse, Three of Cups. Or maybe they want to oust the Queen of Wands. Potential fire sign. Is that Lisa? Two of Swords, Reverse, Three of Cups. Why is Lisa getting reprimanded? I see Lisa being reprimanded. It's Lisa. Lisa. Because that's the devil card. That has to be her. Because this is the fire sign. I see her getting reprimanded. What happened? 
this reading is like all about Lisa. There's a rep there's she's reprimanded. Nine of Pentacles reverse, nine of cups reverse, and ace of wands. It's been it's been it's an old issue resurfacing. Hmm. What did she do? Rebellious nature, I guess. Yeah, look, abuse of power, uh, emperor reverse, um, king of cups reverse, desensitized and detached, and the high priestess, timing, healing, trust, lies, expectations, six of pentacles. Oh, something to do with her contract. You know what's so weird is there's like a threat. Do what I say or I replace you. Or do as I say, or Blackpink is a three-person group. What is going on here? What did she do? Or what is she gonna do? I mean, I guess it could be wrong and it could be a different girl. But it would make sense to be Lisa if she's the devil. Hmm. Yeah, what is this? Leaving the group. What the hell is this? I mean, I think these girl, the girls are gearing up to like prepare for their solo projects because you know a group never lasts forever. But <sighs> what is going on with this fucking group? Every time I read Blackpink, I'm confused. So Eight of Swords, Hermit, Eight of Cups. I mean, again, walking away from the group, but. The girls are too smart. Mm. You know how, like, it's very easy to make, like, girl groups, especially if there's a lot of members, turn on one of the members and, like, attack them and ostracize them? That's what they're trying to do. That's what they're trying to do is get the, all the girls to, like, kind of, like, focus on one of them, which I think is going to be Lisa. Because I'm seeing in my head is... Um, SNSD and, and Jessica where Jessica was like left and like they were all like bullying her but and I do think that this I remember years ago like I did see there were some issues with Jenny but ever since then that is just not going to happen I these girls respect each other um, and all the girls know exactly what's going on I think they underestimated the fact that these girls are smart all four of them are very smart like they understand what's going on, even if they don't get along, and even if they're not like if they're in like in a mood or whatever, they all know exactly what's going on, and they're all professionals. All four of these girls are professionals, so the show must go on is how they are. Um, they really lucked out with this group. I feel like every time I read this group, it's always about how lucky. Um, everything is like it's like every, things that work out because of. The, the fact that they're lucky that they got the girls that they got because they were given, they're not given what I see is like, they're never given the tools to succeed, but they always succeed. So they can't, they can't say or do anything about it because they're always succeeding. Even when the odds are against them, it's really weird, which then creates the stronger bond with the fans. It's like never ending. Five of wands reverse King of Pentacles reverse and eight of wands. It, you know what's so weird? I don't understand this, and I I don't get this, and maybe the fan base knows a little bit more of details because I know you guys know all the little intricacies here. Why does it read to me as, like, I regret making you famous? Like, what the fuck? I don't understand how this group could make you so much money and you be bitter about it. Like, I don't get that. That doesn't make any sense to me, but that's what it reads as to me. Avoidance, even, look, again, avoidance against the King of Pentacles verse, which would be a bad career move. So avoiding, bad career move, rapid change. I want this to change. But they make money. They're consistent. The Six of Swords reverse and, and the Wheel of Fortune. They're like a golden ticket. And then we see the Six of Swords, which is like, trying to get them to look bad but not working i don't understand i also don't think they understand social media either which is just i don't understand it temperance comparing to others knight of swords and the fool reversed 
we're not going to help you. You don't have any help. And the fool's reversed. Who's too serious? I think the girls are too professional and serious for their own good. They're not like malleable or whatever the word is. Like, like you can't mold them. Um, ooh, Empress. Is it the feminine energy? World upright, seven of wands. Strong feminine energy proving ourselves. You can't get rid of us. You started something and it's a cycle that won't finish. I wonder if it has to do with them being like a strong female group. And the temperance card, comparing them maybe to other female groups or maybe comparing them to male groups, that might be what it is. Because it's empress, which makes me think of a strong feminine energy. And then we see the temperance card, comparing yourself, three of cups, to others. Knight of swords, we don't help you, but you prove yourself. Seven of wands. I wonder if it's one of those things where it's like, we don't have to give you a lot of attention. You'll make the money we need you to make without us putting any effort in. So what's the point of putting more effort in? We'll put it into our other groups. Strength reverse, two of wands reverse, tower. Yeah, they're trying to create a rivalry in the group, but I also think they're trying to create a rival group. There's going to be a rival group. They're going to try and create a rival group or a rivalry with another group. I also think they're going to try and get the girls to feud in general, like with people or like drum up publicity, I think, once they start making their way into other countries. Um, but star... I'm going to leave this on. I leave it at this star judgment and six of cups. I think this is going to be the last project that we see Blackpink as we know it. Expect an image shakeup. They might go their separate ways, but I can't tell. All I can tell you is like they're going to shed the image after this project. They're going to shed their image and they're not going to be what they used to be. They're going to be a very different group, very different individual. Um, I'm not sure if they'll still be together, but what I can say is that these girls are going to be very different. Because um, to me, that's like shedding a new skin and completely different to the public. I think it'll be good because the judgment card is more authenticity. Um, but I would say if they do renew their contracts, there are going to be stipulations. I'd be shocked if they renewed it with the people that they're working with now, though. Just because it seems like they want more authenticity and more transparency. These girls aren't going anywhere, though. Like, even if they were to break up, all four of them are going to be successful and have really strong solos. Um, in fact, um, I would say out of all of them, I think Jisoo is going to have a really, really, really good shot, and people are not expecting that. I think uh, Lisa is going to be talked about a shit ton. And I think Rosé is going to do everything she can to prove herself. Jenny is the one that I think is a little bit more like, I kind of need to relax for a little bit first. Um, but I think they're all going to be successful. So that's what I see. If you guys like that, make sure you tip. There's a link to my people down below. There's also a button directly on YouTube. That's a heart that says thanks. Uh, if you want to give me money directly from YouTube, uh, follow me Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and Redity, And please subscribe down below, please. Um, until next time, bye guys.